What is up, YouTubes? We are here at Berserker Strength and Training, ready to get another lift on, ready to show you guys what's up. Some new stuff, some regular stuff, and of course, I'm trying to get better, so you're gonna see what I'm doing. Today, we're gonna do some farmer's walks. Nothing too crazy. Today is not a heavy day. Today is more of agility, speed, and the dreaded cardio. You know, I almost didn't want to say that. It's kind of the all-important catch-all slash accessory day. For us, that means farmers. We're gonna do some footwork and some speed work here, which you guys are gonna love to see. Pull out my old football ladder and get my feet moving. At the end, we've got 20 rep squats, which they sound brutal, they probably will be brutal, but I still like them. When you're a strength athlete, you, you have those challenges that you like and that you strive to do better at and they're continuous. And for me, my entire career, the 20 rep squats have always been one of those. So that is what we will finish the day off with. Why don't you come along and watch me sweat? Let's do it. Huh? Got that rainbow candy flavor. No matter how many times I do that on camera, people still react the same way. I don't know if it's new people or the same people, but I've been taking pre like that for like, like 10 years. I don't even feel like doing any of this today. My body is so mad at me. The transition into doing everything the way I'm doing now has been really hard on my low body. So it's taken a little bit to adjust and I've been doing hill sprints and I've been Going back, I, going into 2018 Worlds, I was, come with me, I was walking about three miles a day and there were two giant hills that I would, I would run up during that three mile walk. I think a lot of that is why I was so successful in 2018 versus this year I was statically strong. I was. Like I could lift the world, I just couldn't move the same. Getting ready for prep now, I've decided to go back to it. So I found a hill by my house and I do about a two mile walk with a nice big hill sprint. It destroys me. <laughs> I used to be able to do that like nothing. And right now I'm getting destroyed on top of squatting more, deadlifting more moving my feet more. My legs feel so heavy right now. They feel just like I've got cement boots on. And uh, I think that means it's working. It's just, it's gonna be a long day, definitely. Enjoy watching me suffer. My legs are so heavy. He's not speeding this up, by the way. I'm really that fast with my feet. This is just something I've done since I was a kid. And my feet are fast. My feet are strong. Ladder's done. Let's go get some farmers. What they never tell you when you get into strongman is you gotta move all this weight inside and outside. So it's always good to have a nice dolly. I had a better dolly than this, but it got broken. So we're using this one for now. This is what happens when you leave equipment for everyone to use, stuff gets broken. It's exactly what happened to my last dolly. No, 
let's go get some more plates. It's freezing. I'm gonna go get my sweatshirt. Hey guys, I hope you guys are having a great New Year's. Before I get back to these farmers right here, I wanted to take a second and show you. We got all this gear. Right now we have these tanks, the Savage tanks, and the strong and pretty zip-ups. At the link below, they're available. We're gonna change things up very soon. So I believe these sweatshirts and this shirt are gonna be gone. If you like them, snag them. Pretty much everything's gonna be switched out soon. And thank you guys so much for your support. All that stuff, basically, that merch is why I get to do everything, why I get to compete, why I get to make these videos, all that stuff. It all comes from the support from you guys watching these videos and liking and subscribing and then hitting that merch. And so thank you to everybody. You guys have been awesome. Let's keep it going. Let's get back to work before I freeze standing here. Let's go. Car. Game on before you go. You gotta get a nice little tight squeeze and make sure when you bend down to go, you're not gonna fart or poop your pants. So, check is over, now I'm ready to go. I don't know if any of you guys I've ever noticed, but when you uh, when you let your calluses grow, the longer they get. I, these are pretty recently shaved. They start to bunch up, and they'll creep up like that, you know. And they get those little peaks. That's when you're in danger of them ripping. So always make sure you're taking care of your calluses. Cut them off when you need to. Up the weight a little bit. I'm gonna kind of do this obstacle course. I'm gonna go up this hill, around the corner, step over a couple uh, possibly dangerous areas. I'll take my time, go slow. But uh, this will be a nice, nice way to finish the farmers. It'll be quick to hear, and then I'll have to control it and squeeze with my grip. This is honestly gonna be kind of tough. You're about to see the little maze I have to go through but uh yeah good way to finish off farmers and get ready for the death squat the car coming you wanna they can wait Told you it wasn't gonna be easy. Nothing more fun than doing a zillion reps of squat when your legs are already destroyed. So, let's get it. You know what's funny is, this is as high as the clips go on this. The highest set, so like most people, when they come over here, they'll be standing, their heads will be right here. For me, I wish this would go up another couple inches. You know, working with a monster here, working with a monster. Last time I did a squat video, I got a ton of comments on like, how, how are you still have so much dexterity in your shoulders, you know, like got one of the best shoulder presses of all time and soon to be the best, April 4th. And yet I can still grab the bar tight. And you know, I was, I was kind of surprised how everyone was so uh, taken back by it. But uh, I think it's just one of those things, as long as you continue to work something and you never let it go, it'll still be there like you know if you are always hiking and walking and taking care of that kind of stuff you'll always be able to do it but as soon as you give that up and you give yourself an excuse to not not grab the bar tight or to put your hands out here because oh uh, today my shoulders are tight so let's make it easy on yourself or today i'm tired so i don't want to go for my walks or take care of my cardio 
as soon as you start doing that stuff, it's gone, quick. So I always make sure that I'm taking care of what I need. Don't need to play catch up no more. I'm gonna do two sets of 20 rep squats with three plates and this heavy squat bar. <laughs> Just saying it feels crazy. So hopefully we get this thing done, go rehab, take care of myself, and hopefully my legs will be back before I gotta do some actually heavy squats or in three days. So hopefully my legs come back before then. Let's Let's blow it out, finish it strong, run through the finish line. Let's get it, let's get it. My legs are not happy, but that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Run through the finish line. That's what my high school football coach always told me. And for those of you who don't quite get it, that means don't slow down, finish fast, run through the finish line. That's a good finish. All right, guys, well, hope you enjoyed that. It's, it's crazy, the changes and the type of work I'm doing now, and uh, kind of feels vulnerable, exposing to, you know, to the world the, the weaknesses that you have. So I appreciate all the support and love I get from you guys. I'm gonna keep pushing, keep getting better, keep making myself Breathe like a fat guy, just like you're seeing now. I hope you guys are out there doing the same thing. Find that weakness, attack it, be strong, stay pretty. See you guys soon.